Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day in this video. I'm going to be testing out two identical RTX 3070s. But the difference is, is that we have a non-LHR RTX 3070 and then an LHR RTX 3070. And specifically, these are both Asus Strix brand model 3070s. And just to let you guys know, I've had the non-LHR 3070 Asus Strix here for quite a while now. I think less than a year. And you can tell that it's already pretty dusty. And then the LHR 3070 here is pretty much brand new. There's not a speck of dust on this. And so for me, I just want to do this video so that I can see the hash rate difference and maybe power consumption difference between these two identical 3070s. But the difference is that, you know, one is LHR, and the other one is non-LHR. And I have done this similar video with the 3080s, but I wanna see the difference now between 3070s. And so hopefully you guys enjoy. And also, I do wanna take note of the difference of the Noctua 3070 LHR, which I recently did a video of, which is, this is an amazing graphics card, extremely efficient. And so I'm also curious to know if this LHR 3070 will yield the same results as I did on this. 3070 LHR. So I guess we'll find out and see if there are any differences on that end and as well as a difference between obviously there will be a difference with the non LHR and as of making this video you know the market has been I would say kind of stagnant profitability has been kind of going down and GPU prices have also been kind of coming down as well so it may make sense now to buy the non LHR GPUs because they're almost on par if not a little bit more than a LHR GPU in comparison so anyways guys let me plug both of these GPUs into my test bench and I have a PMD power measuring device for each one and we'll see what the power consumption is while we're mining let's say ethereum and then we'll do ergo i, I want to do the coins where i think the lhr gpu is hindered on mining certain algorithms and so we can see the differences between the non lhr so let me go set up that first we'll of course do ethereum first so i'll see you guys at the computer okay we are mining ethereum on both of these gpus so the lhr one is going to be gpu one as you can tell, it's getting about 46, almost 47 mega hash. And the GPU zero is going to be the non LHR at about 64 mega hash. And these are my overclock settings. I'm using the exact same numbers for both. We're using 1100 core clock, 2600 memory, 60% fan. And I do have the force P0 state on. Okay. And so there we go. And now if we go to here, in case you guys want to see these numbers, yeah, it's been mining really good. The temperatures are really good on these Asus Strix cards. Pretty low temperatures, but the power consumption here is where it differs in the software and maybe a little bit at the PMDs, you guys can see. So obviously the hash per watt is a lot better on the non-LHR on Ethereum. I mean, that's a given. And you can see the power consumption difference, difference in the software is about, I would say five to 10 watts or something between LHR getting a little bit lower power consumption, but looking at the power measuring devices, you guys can see here. So on the left, I have the LHR, and then on the right, I have the non LHR. So looking at both of them now, it seems like the LHR is using a little bit more, if not the same power consumption as the non LHR. Though the LHR GPU that I've been I've been noticing is that it's been jumping around from like 100 to 120 watts. So I would say this particular model, uh, the Asus Strix, it's, it is taking a little bit more power because like I wanted to compare my Noctua 3070 LHR. I just did a review recently and the power was pegged to about 105, 106 watts mining at the same mega hash as the Asus Strix that I have here. So yeah, in this video, this, this 3070, the Noctua is extremely efficient. And what I'm going to contribute that to is that this Asus Strix 3070 uh, LHR or even the non LHR, you know, the cooler is just like the shroud itself in terms of the displacement or I guess the, uh, the copper that's being used, nickel, plated, whatever. The Noctua is just a lot more efficient than the Asus Strix. So that's why it seems like the Asus Strix is taking a little bit better 
in terms of the uh in terms of the power consumption so anyways guys yeah that's my numbers you can see here that's for ethereum i, I guess most of you guys know that mining ethereum yeah lhr we all know it's going to be hindered on lhr gpus but obviously the non lhr gpus uh like this asus strix here at gpu zero is completely completely fine and anyways let me go ahead and let's try another coin you guys have seen these numbers and uh, let's try ergo next okay we are mining ergo and yes you can see the hash rate difference here the lhr gpu is hindered on mining ergo so i needed to use lhr tune of 92.4 in t-rex miner i had to do a custom batch file command and you can see uh and at the pmds the power consumption difference is different and that's obvious because the non lhr 3070 is getting about almost 180 mega hash but it is using 150 watts right versus the lhr gpu is using about 130 at the moment so that extra 20 watts would be i guess the delta between the hash rate of extra what 24 23 mega hash difference there i think i believe and in t-rex miner it's reporting my non lhr gpu at 50 watts in the software which is completely wrong i don't know why it's doing that maybe because my overclocks are are weird here but this is what i'm using minus 200 on the core 2400 mem for the non lhr and 135 pl and then for the lhr gpu i'm using minus 50 2600 125 pl so the same pl that i'm using for i did use on my noctua 3070 just to let you guys know and it was using about 126 watts so a little bit more efficient getting the same mega hash roughly as the asus strix uh 3070 so i thought we'd do a little comparison right there but yeah you can see the asus strix is i would say it, it, they both have samsung memory they all have samsung memory so that's all well and good but anyways my friends that's ergo let me know your thoughts on this so now let's try flux okay we are mining flux and yeah there's no difference that i can see here between the asus strix uh, 3070 lhr or the non lhr 3070 they're able to use the same overclocks in hive os i can show you guys here okay we're using 150 core 2600 memory uh, 60 fan and 150 power limit now this these gpus you know we're getting 60 souls per second here mining flux using mini z but there are my other noctua uh, 3070 which i can get a little bit more like 61 to 62 souls per second at about 145 watts uh, but you can see at the pmd right the power measuring devices they are pretty much i would say they're using the exact same power if not maybe we're talking a little a few watts difference that the lhr may be using a little bit more than the non lhr when we're mining flux but in the software it shows that we are using 150 watts here so that seems to be all well and good i mean depending on the temperatures cooler uh, from what i've seen it looks like they're pretty much the same though anyways guys that's the flux numbers no difference between lhr or non lhr on these 3070s okay let's go try and mine ravencoin next okay so here we are mining ravencoin now i'm getting about 28 almost 29 mega hash at about 144 and 139 watts i'll show you in hive os here i was trying to achieve the same mega hash on each of these 3070s right and so the non lhr asus strix 3070 needs a little bit more juice in order to hit the same mega hash as the other lhr uh, 3070 and one fun, funny thing let me just you know what i'll just do this i'm gonna go 150 for both okay save and you guys will see it go up here in a sec but i just want to show the noctua 3070 so i was able to get it to about 30 mega hash but using 135 power limit and you can see here the power consumption was hovering around 131 to 135 watts at the pmd 
But now, as we are mining Ravencoin on these two 3070s, I need to up the power limit a bit more in order to gain that 30 mega hash. So these GPUs, especially the Asus ones, there we go. We're at, we're at 30 mega hash now. And if we verify it here, yeah, 30, there you go, 30 mega hash, but I had to go 150 PL. So when I went 135 PL, like the Noctua one, in order to achieve 30 mega hash, these Asus Strix were, they they went down to like, uh, let's see, if I did 135, just, just to show you guys, so I'm not lying, just to show you guys the uh, real life example here of when I changed the power limits of these Asus Strix, and I have noticed this on my most of my asus strix cards they are a little bit more power hungry and they they do need a little bit more juice in order to attain similar hash rates amongst the same models of like say 3070s or even 3080s right i, I did a 3080 strix non-lhr and lhr comparison and i noticed the difference between my other 3080 models like zotax evgas those one noticeably used much more, much less, sorry, much less power versus the Asus Strix. The Asus Strix cards, for some reason, are using more power. And see, you can see here, 134 watts now. Also at the PMDs, they've dropped down 27 mega hash, 28 mega hash. You can see it's probably, it's going to go down to, I think, 26 or 25 after a little bit here. So if I just refresh it, yeah, see, 25 mega hash, 27 mega hash, 135 PL, the exact same settings overclock settings that i'm using with my other 3070 the noctua here which is incredible right this noctua 3070 is seriously the most efficient 3070 model i have ever played with and if i had lots of money and i didn't care about money i would probably just be buying these noctua 3070s non-stop because these are seriously these are probably binned really well in terms of silicon and they all have Samsung memory, right? But just to look at these Asus Strix 3070s, it looks like the LHR, the LHR 3070, I'm yielding a little bit better result here at 27 versus 25 on the non-LHR at the same overclocks, over uh, power limits here. So that's something I wanted to note here. And just, I guess, just explaining some of my experience regarding different models, different brands of these 30 series cards now that I've noticed across the board. The Asus Strix model specifically uses a lot more power than other GPU brands. Okay, that's, that's something I've noticed uh, for the past year now. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed that as well. The Asus Strix uses a lot more power, but please let me know. Okay, so that's Ravencoin, and I think for these cards specifically, I think 150 PL gives me that sweet spot of uh, efficiency of 150 watts, uh, 30 mega hash on these Asus Strix cards. Okay, and uh, let me know what you guys think about that. All right, I'm going to try another coin. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, next coin I decide to try is Aeon, and I'm using 145 PL, 150 core, 2600 memory. Pretty much the same overclocks I'm using with Ravencoin, pretty much. So 145 PL. We're getting 390, almost 400 souls for each GPU. So I don't see any LHR difference here in terms of uh, the hindrance on the hash rate. It just looks like it's completely fine. We're using G minor and uh, let's just wait for it to come up here. But looking at the power at the wall, it's the LHR is fluctuating. Uh, so is the non-LHR, actually. But I'm going to say both these GPUs are the exact same. Plus or minus 1 or 3%. Uh, it looks like the non-LHR is getting 386 souls, while the LHR GPU is getting 397. So this is something we did notice with Ravencoin, right? With the same power limits that the LHR 3070 was gaining, gained a little bit more hash rate, I guess, a little bit more efficiency in that regard so yeah we did we also saw that well yeah with ravencoin and now we see that with aeon just just a little bit at these at the same power limits here okay guys so that's aeon let me know your thoughts now let me try another coin okay we are mining uh cortex and yeah we're getting pretty much the same hash rates give or take same overclock settings, and the PMDs are showing roughly the same power consumption. 
So there's no difference between LHR or non-LHR mining Cortex. Okay, so let's try another coin. Okay, we are mining Conflux. And yeah, we're getting pretty much the same mega hash uh, hash rate with Conflux on these GPUs. And in terms of the uh, overclocks are the same, but the power consumption at the wall is, I'm going to have to say, pretty much the same as well. Yeah, yeah, these 3070s. LHR, non-LHR, also seem to be just fine. Um, LHR has no hindrance on Conflux. Okay, let's try one more final coin. Okay, we're going to end off this video with Firo. And uh, these, uh, these are my overclocks that we're using uh, with uh, T-Rex Miner. 150 PL, same PL I was using for the last couple of coins here. Uh, I'm get, I've been getting lazy, okay? I've been getting lazy. But anyways, we're getting 31.02 and 31.07 on the LHR uh, 3070. And you can see here, yeah, the numbers are the same even at the wall. Uh, the PMDs, they're pretty much similar. Maybe the non-LHR is a little bit... Is using a little bit less watts, but realistically it's the same, it seems like. So, guys... That's it. Let me go ahead and uh, take you outside here and show you the GPUs in all of its glory. Okay, so you guys saw all the hash rates I went through with these two identical RTX 3070s, but one's LHR and one another one is a non-LHR. And we've noticed basically the difference within mining Ethereum and Ergo and in terms of the other algorithms, we didn't really notice much of a difference, maybe a couple percent. But it seemed like the LHR 3070 was great, was, was just a little bit better on the other algorithms, just by a little bit. And then the non-LHR, of course, is great on the uh, Ethereum and Ergo. I just, I don't know, I'm just going to conclude that this video, that it doesn't matter if you're going to be buying LHR or non-LHR. As we all know, Ethereum is eventually going to go away from proof of work. And so the algorithm ETHHash, which is Ethereum's algorithm, is essentially going to be no more. Of course, though, there is Ethereum Classic. So if you are speculating that Ethereum Classic is going to carry the crypto mining community in terms of profitability and hash rate, then by all means, I think might as well try to find the non-LHR 3070s or any non-LHR GPU or the Founders Edition 3070s as those are natively already non-LHR. But the AIB branded 3070s nowadays are gonna be LHR'd, right? Just like this Noctua one here, which uh, that's one thing I wanted to talk about, right? I did do a review of this RTX 3070 uh, Asus Noctua Edition 3070, which is LHR. And we've noticed that this GPU is extremely, extremely efficient on mining all of the algorithms. And we saw the numbers with the Asus Strix 3070 LHR that we needed a little bit more power to achieve the same results that this Noctua was able to get. I, I explained that when we were doing Ravencoin. And so, you know, <laughs> if I had a lot of money, I'd go out and buy tons of these but not just because they're extremely efficient, but also that they're really cool. Uh, they keep cool with these Noctua fans and, and the cooler is just, is just massive, right? Anyways, guys, I'm not telling you to go out and buy LHR 3070s or non-LHR 3070s. You guys can make your own informed decision of the numbers I just showed you. And yeah, whatever I talked about, let me know what you guys think. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one and peace out. I really need to make a rig of six of these Noctua 3070s. These are such, such nice GPUs. I mean, same with the Strix cards.